Well, good afternoon, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, I'm kind of premiering a new shirt for my, my wife, okay? It's for Philly 500. The Eagles. He's chicken. He's so chicken, he didn't show up today. Yeah, after I called him out, I don't know what's wrong with you, Philly. Yeah. So I was doing the Dan Salio show, and he was talking about Jalen Hurts. So Jalen Hurts apparently is struggling right now in minicamp. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. You don't say... Wow. Yeah. So don't take my word for it, okay? Don't take my word that I said that everybody thinks that Kellen Moore made Dak Prescott. But see, Dak Prescott has had Scott Linehan calling plays, Kellen Moore, Mike McCarthy. The players change, but the game is still the same. Dak Prescott, without Kellen Moore, threw a lot less interceptions and looked like a better quarterback. And it fell high scoring offense, I believe. Kellen Moore goes, as they put it in the with the Chargers, now he's got a real quarterback to work with and real weapons. Because he's a genius. Yeah, well, he lasted there one year. And Justin Herbert, just so you know, had that 38 TDs his second year, 25 the next got paid and got 20 last year and did not look that good. And Kellen Moore goes to the Eagles. But again, don't take my word for it. Let's listen to Dan. Um, he's the greatest offensive lineman. Beast. I've ever seen. It's coming. And I'll say this to you. I, I, Mark, this is all seriousness. Campo sent me the day he benched that 700 pounds mm -hmm. at Valley Ranch. That was unbelievable. That was at Valley Ranch when he did that. Mm -hmm. And Dave sent me that on my email, and he goes, you got to watch this thing. And sure enough, man, and the movement he had, the guy he ran down with the Saints. Unbelievable. Man, 52 years old. What a shame. I couldn't that believe guy, it. in my opinion, was one of the greatest players I've ever seen at any position. I mean, just tremendous a football player. Way too soon. So I want to go back, though, for a second here. So are you hitting the panic button about Jalen Hurts? What I don't like is about Hertz is that personally, I don't believe he's the guy. I just don't think he's the guy. I just don't think. You know, his contract is like a ticking time bomb, right? Oh, no, he's there. No, 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 dude. They got him till 29. I know. That's what it's I'm saying. Like an anchor around your neck until for the next like four years. There's people in Philly who are not saying anything. They don't care. But as far as I'm concerned, he's a one-year wonder so far, unless he proves something to me. Are you saying he's year. a Carson Wentz? Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to say, a, I don't you, know that Kellen have, Moore is going to be able to take no, him to another you, level. You have no excuses with that offense. You're paying $175 million for that entire unit when it comes to salaries. And you see... This is why I don't want the Eagles fans to turn into Cowboy fans like you. Oh, shit. What? Now, now, uh, not all Cowboy fans you are alike. Come up with some excuse. I don't come up with excuses for anybody, and I don't give a shit if it's your boyfriend, Dak Prescott. That's the difference between me and you. That's your boyfriend, me. Nobody on that okay. team. It's about the logo in winning ball games. For you, you got a love affair with Dak and everyone else's fault except Dak. Now, I'll say this to you. Dak's got to go somewhere else to win a Super Bowl. That's He's probably true. That I'm, I'm almost at the point of saying everybody has to go somewhere else to win a Super Bowl. Wow. But he was basically, you know, th there's other parts of this where he was like, there's no excuse right now because it's OTAs and minicamp. There's nobody coming at you at full speed. He's like, this is just pitching and catching. 
But this is where it felt kind of good. Now, now people will say, you're too easy on him, man. You're too soft, man. You're letting him get away with shit. Now, you know what? I'm being like a sniper. I'm here in my ghillie suit, okay? I'm just biding my time because I think the Eagles are going to have a rough season. Their defense has a lot of questions. And I really honestly and truly don't believe that Kellen Moore will be the answer for Jalen Hurts. I think Jalen Hurts is better off using his feet and moving around, being that run option type guy. Kellen Moore is going to want him to be a pocket quarterback. And I don't see how you look and say, oh, these two mix. This is like oil and water. But let me get one more little kick in here because this is where I kind of shut up Dan Salio, which is not an easy thing to do. What is your back, what is your linebacking core going to do? What are your cornerbacks going to do? What is your defense going to do? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you, bro. Xander <laughs> said they're going to win 10 games. Here we go. Ask <sighs> Mark. Can he get Charles Haley to join in next week? To chop? I have Charles Haley's number two. I can, I can. Yeah, get Charles in here. I can get Charles. <laughs> as, as a matter of fact, I should get Irvin on here. I, I keep. There you go. Well, I'm, Irvin will you be at Irvin the autograph sign. The What's They're that? They're building a dynasty. Yeah. Okay. He's trying to pump he you did. up a little bit there. He did. Th say they're that. He building a dynasty. Did you see what happened right there? Did you see what happened right there? He couldn't say a thing. Nothing. We're talking about Dan Salio could not say anything to defend the Eagles defense. <laughs> and Jalen Hurts is struggling and he thinks he's going to be a one year wonder. Wow. It's going to be an interesting season. I think the Cowboys are going to go 11 and six. I'm putting out there that the Eagles go eight and nine. Yeah, I said it. I said it. And um, I, I, I'm going to say that um, I actually really enjoy doing the uh, the show with Dan. Dan's funny. Uh, and it's funny because the Eagle fans hate him <laughs> as much as they hate me. So it kind of works out both ways. But all seriousness, though, seriousness, no. um, there is too much hate in the world and stuff. We can be fans of our teams and not necessarily have to hate each other and stuff. And I wish we would have more of that um, camaraderie and, you know, that rivalry between us where, you know, we can, we can joke and kid and everything else and still get along. That's, that's my goal in life. I hope you all are having a great day, but it bears watching how Jalen Hurts and that $175 million offense is going to do. Peace out.